Hello again. Believe it or not, things can go wrong sometimes when you're recording. And especially if you're recording an online interview during Zencaster, I think it's important to have a backup in mind. The program I use and I highly recommend is called Audio Hijack, which is a free program available for the Mac. We simply want to just locate that by going to Audio Hijack, typing in Google, and it's a rogue amoeba.com slash audio hijack and they do have their own overview to give you an idea of how to use it and I just think it's a good idea to install this on your Mac for when you're doing online recording especially I don't know if you necessarily need it for regular in-person recording but you still can use it just to have a backup track in case. And I think that in this day and age, because technology can be faulty, it's a good idea. So we just simply go to free download here. And as you can see, it is currently downloading. And you just go to your finder and then the downloads and there it is. And of course, since I already have it installed, I can give you a brief overview of what it does. Basically, it records all your system audio. Any sound coming out of the computer via Zencaster is basically your system audio. In addition, you can choose what type of file you would like it to be. It can be an MP3, which you can easily import into GarageBand later if you choose. It gives you some options. It can also make it a uh, WAV file by clicking here under Recording Format. And once again, output device is basically headphones wherever you're hearing the sound from. And while you're recording via Zencaster, you can also include your own microphone which is basically you <laughs> and right now I'm using the uh, USB interface the Scarlett 214 USB microphone and that is my additional input device which will record along with my system audio which would just be your guest when they speak and all you have to do is click here and is currently recording the sound of my voice. And as you can see, we can just go under recordings to uncover what we just recorded as our backup file. And as always, I recommend naming all the files. I'm going to call this one backup one. And you can either leave this in the audio hijack folder, which is where you specify all your recordings to be located on your hard drive. And now let's say we want to put our backup into action in GarageBand. It's very simple. Keep this open. And all you have to do is drag the file into GarageBand. Very good. And let's give it a listen real quick here. And it is currently recording the sound of my voice. Great. Now the backup track is in our project. And you're probably wondering, well, why did I show you this for Audio Hijack? Take a look. For the podcast I put together already, this happened to be my backup track which I, I basically used only because Zencaster uh, did not record uh, the first couple of minutes of our conversation. And that can happen. You know, technology, internet connection, any number of factors can affect what you record in Zencaster. But at the same time, that rarely, rarely happens and just happened to happen to me 
And that's kind of why I'm glad I always have Audio Hijack as my plan B. And I think you should plan on having a plan B. So there we go. Um, hopefully that was very helpful for you. There are uh, certainly more tutorials on the Audio Hijack website if you need them. But thank you for watching this tutorial.